Are you struggling with a web bot that just won't click? It can be incredibly frustrating when your code works perfectly in one environment but fails in another. Today, we're diving into a common issue with the jQuery click function not firing from an injected script inside a web browser control. I totally get it. You've put in the effort to develop your web bot using the WinForms web browser control, and everything seems to be working fine, except for that pesky second click call. You're not alone in this. Many developers face similar challenges. Here's the specific situation we're looking at. One user asked why their jQuery click function on an anchor tag isn't firing when called from an injected script. They confirmed that the first click works, but the second one does not, even though the element exists. Sound familiar? Let's explore this together. So, what could be causing this issue? The web browser control inherits from Internet Explorer, which can lead to compatibility problems with modern JavaScript and jQuery functions. This is a common pitfall for many developers working with older technologies. And stick around. At the end of this video, I'll share a tip that could save you a lot of headaches when working with browser controls. To address the issue with the click event not firing, the user should first ensure that the jQuery library is fully loaded before executing the click function. This can be done by wrapping the code in a document ready function. Next, the user should check if the element is visible and enabled before attempting to click it. Sometimes, elements may be present in the DOM but not interactable. Additionally, the user can try using the trigger method instead of click. This can sometimes resolve issues with event handling in certain environments. Finally, if the problem persists, the user should consider testing the code in a different browser control, as the web browser control may have limitations due to its reliance on Internet Explorer. Fun fact, did you know that Internet Explorer was once the most popular web browser? Now it's often the source of many developers' headaches. Times have certainly changed. Now let's look at the answers provided by other users. An alternative solution provided by another user suggests wrapping your object with jQuery to ensure it works correctly. They recommend modifying the code to create the save link variable like this, var save link equals dollar sign, open parenthesis, dollar sign, open parenthesis, x, close parenthesis, dot find, open parenthesis, a, close parenthesis, open bracket, zero, close bracket, close parenthesis. That wraps up that answer. Let's move on to another one. An alternative solution suggests using the trigger method instead of click. This user also recommends changing the if condition to check if save link exists and returning a number instead of a string. Additionally, they advise using window.location.href to navigate to the anchor's href value. Let's check out another perspective from a different user. An alternative approach suggested by another user is to check the existence of the save link using the length property. Instead of checking if save link is null, you should verify if save link.length is greater than zero. This ensures that the element exists before attempting to click it. Now, let's shift our focus to a different response. An alternative solution provided by a user suggests modifying the click event for the anchor tag they recommend using the live method instead of the standard click method. This change may help ensure that the click event is properly triggered. Now, let's shift our focus to a different response. An alternative solution provided by another user suggests ensuring that the save link is a DOM element for the null check. They recommend using jQuery to select the anchor tag in different ways. You can use find with A first, or find with A and EQ zero, or simply first to get the first anchor element. Here's the tip I promised. Always test your web applications in multiple environments. This practice can save you from unexpected issues down the line. And there you have it. With these troubleshooting steps, you should be able to resolve the click issue in your web bot. Remember, testing in different environments is key. If you found this video helpful, please subscribe for more tips and tricks.